What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another MLB The Show video. Now, this is actually the first of what will be an ongoing series for this channel, and what this is is actually a franchise that I have going with a few friends. Um, you guys probably know a couple of them. You probably know X Ryan 915 and Chase Plays Madden. Well, Chase also plays MLB The Show. Well, at least sometimes. So, uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy this series anyway. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. So far, I've only played computer games in this franchise, but I still think it's going to be a lot of fun because we do have a couple of games against other humans uh, for this franchise. I think we're doing like a 35-game uh, season or something along those lines. So, we'll see how many people make it. We actually have, I think, three humans in each division, and we have two divisions one for each conference so we're hoping that we'll have two people playing in the world series at some point later in the season but let's get into the gameplay footage from this very first game and this is the second batter up this is michael kadire who hammers this thing into deep left center field the first run of the game and the first run of the season is a solo shot from michael kadire who has absolutely been amazing for me so far i'm not going to spoil anything but he has been awesome now in the field and gerald saltalamacchia nearly hits a home run carlos gonzalez runs into the wall and he gets in there for a double early in this game trying to tie things up but next batter up grounds out to third and we get out of the inning with no damage done on to the top of the third First batter up is Josh Rutledge, and he is going to smash this thing deep right field, and that ball is gone as well. The second home run of the game, a solo shot from Josh Rutledge, and keep that in mind because Josh Rutledge is going to be up later, and you guys are going to see something pretty impressive. Later in the inning, it is shortstop Troy Tulowitzki, the all-star, and he smashes one deep right field as well with a batter on base. A two-run shot makes it 4-0, to zero, and we are starting to pull away in this game as Jola Shesson is playing very, very well. Next batter up is another all-star, Carlos Gonzalez, who lines one out into center field for a single. Then, the very next batter up, it is Wilson Ramos, who belts one out into center field as well for another single. That puts two men on here, two men in scoring position for Nolan Arenado, who grounds out. Oh, that could have been a big, big inning there. But instead, we're held to just two. Four to zero now. Bottom of the third. And Shasin is going to get a strikeout here on Christian Yelich. Bottom of the fourth. Josh Rutledge up again. And I told you guys to pay attention to him. Oh, man. Another solo shot from Rutledge. This time, he goes to his power side to left field. And that one is completely gone. His second home run of this game. And guys, it wasn't just the hitting that was on. As we strike out the big bopper, Mike Stanton, he's going to take a seat here. Leading the way for Gerald Saltalamacchia, who's up again for the second time. And he is going to strike out looking. We're through four with a shutout. Back up again, and it is Troy Tulowitzki who homered earlier in this one. And he is going to line one out to center field for a single. And that was not a good start to the inning. Because the very next at bat, it is Carlos Gonzalez, and he is going to go opposite field for another home run. What is that, our fifth home run of this game? A two-run shot gives us a 7 to nothing lead here in this one. Later in the inning, Justin Morneau up to bat, and he is going to smash one to deep left field. And this should have been a run scored. But it ended up just being a double because for some reason, my guy who was on first base didn't round second. And he held up there, which made me not be able to bring him home. So that kind of sucked. Next batter up, and it is Josh Rutledge again, who's homered twice in this one. But this time, it is just a simple pop fly out. We're unable to get anything further across in the inning. He gets out of trouble, but it is still a 7-0 lead here as Jolis Chassin is continuing to dominate this game. And it's going to be another strikeout here on Giancarlo Stanton, who sat down yet again. On to the bottom of the sixth, man on first, and he is going to strike out looking. Gerald Saltalamaki again, the second time he struck out looking in this one. And after we went to the bullpen, the Marlins finally found something in the form of John Carlos Stanton, who smashed a two-run shot to make it 7-2. to two. At least the game didn't look quite as bad at this point as it otherwise would have. But we weren't done yet. 
Top of the ninth, Michael Kadire hits one to the right center field, gets past John Carlos Stanton, and he is in for a double here with one out. Next batter up now, and I want you to watch as this just dreadful base running happens because it's Carlos Gonzalez and he is going to single here. This should be a run score. Michael Kadire should have rounded third and gone to home. However, he didn't, and for some reason, my guys just decide that they're going to stand on first and third and then decide to run, and I end up getting completely screwed here. It was only one out going into that play. I got a hit, and yet somehow they get two outs. Don't get me wrong, I'm still having a lot of fun playing this game as I got the win here, but... My goodness, there are just some things in this game that are so screwed up. You guys, I'm sure, saw Ryan's video where he said that he hates this game because of the just outlandishly BS base running that he got in his game. Man, I feel his pain because that kind of stuff constantly seems to happen to me. But anyways, I did walk away with the win here. I'm happy about it. We're going to go on to game two. Hopefully, we're able to keep our undefeated streak going here, get to two wins. That would be a nice start to the season. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you could leave a comment, I'd appreciate that. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button so you can be aware of when I release new content. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.